What's going on you all? Today we're talking about the Toner TC30 USB microphone. It is a plug and play microphone and throughout this review, we're going to be talking through it throughout the whole time. So, let's just go ahead and start talking about it right now. So, like what I said, this is the Toner TC30 microphone. So, let's give yourself uh just a quick look around real quick. Nice little pop filter in the front, just real, you just talk into it, kind of at the top essence is what I'm talking about more in terms of pop filter placement, but I don't know if we can go through different angles, that's what we're trying to figure out right now, check, 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 so it does get a little louder, I can look at it right now, I'm monitoring the sound, um, it is a very... Uh, it's a sensitive microphone, I could already tell. So let's just go ahead and get into it. But first, I just want to say thank y'all so much for over 200,000 followers on TikTok. And thank you so much for hitting us up right here on YouTube and more. So let's talk about overall this microphone. Uh, you do have to be in a good placement just because there is no manual volume control on this microphone. Also, uh, just a huge disclaimer, if you are here trying to find yourself an affordable USB mic, uh, this microphone does not work for Xbox. So uh, due to its essence of not being able to have a monitoring jack. Um, yeah, so there's no headphone monitoring jack on this microphone. And also it just uh, it, it's a hot mic. So when you don't have volume control on a microphone and you don't have a headphone jack, that can be a little bit more complicating, but the Toner TC30 is very small, compact, and you can travel with it everywhere. I'm trying to keep it more of a round right here just so y'all can really see everything that's going on and I'm going different angles with it. Uh, it does come with a smaller USB port, a USB-C to a USB, and it also has this pop filter that you just simply put on and you hook in. It has a smaller shock mount along with the tripod. This is more of the tripod right here that I'm utilizing. Um, I would say this podcast would be great for possibly a starting off podcast, but... Um I'm not too sure though. I, I think that a, a podcast mic would probably be a little bit better if maybe within the phone, uh, depending on where you're going to have the placement of this. I, I, if not, then you're going to be able to use two of them. So you would definitely want a microphone on each side. You won't use it solely as one because it's not really deemed as a dynamic microphone according to the instruction manual. But um, this is, uh, Toner did send this out to me, and I do enjoy this mic. It has some pretty good feedback in terms of, uh, on TikTok, we did this on TikTok, so it did have some pretty good feedback on that. But yes, a disclaimer is it does not work on Xbox uh, due to, there's no headphone jack to monitor, and there's no volume to be able to do. So now it does work. Let's talk about what it does work on. So it does work on a, po a podcast. It can work for a PlayStation. I wouldn't recommend this one for music just because it's more of a compact, smaller microphone that can be hot and not necessarily pack the right punch for a digital audio workstation. But um, I definitely think a starting off entry level podcast would be good. PlayStation would be pretty good because with PlayStation, you can change settings from the uh, in game settings in order to utilize this microphone i'm looking over here at the, the monitoring aspect right now and it i could see it very loud um so it is a very hot microphone versus when i record with my in-house actual mics um but yeah so does playstation podcast um music not really i mean you can if you're beginning off another entry again just overall just the entry level uh nintendo switch you can use this for and you can use this for just a bunch of any other utilizations other than xbox technically right if we're talking technically you can't use this on an xbox but if we're just talking just sporadically so it is it's compatible with everything just short short ends but um yeah so this is the toner and i just wanted to talk about this real quick it's more of the just a uh the pop filter just kind of just goes around through here and i'm just doing some more mic tests just so y'all can really get this test around and i just want to go move around so let's let's do a full-on test we're keeping the microphone in one place so let's keep it here check 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 Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. So it does kind of have some form of a dynamic essence. Um, I think I do tend to believe, and I like that a little bit better. Like if we talk kind of this angle, I like that a little bit better. That's pretty cool too. I like that. So it, it, I think it does have some form of a, com a condensed, compressed, and dynamic appeal. It's just an all-in-one. Um, let's read over the box a little bit though just before we start wrapping this up. Um, it says a cardioid pattern. So yes, yeah, so plug and play and a clear sound. But it does claim to be the USB condenser microphone. And uh, 
yeah that's kind of just all what it has in terms of angles um i would say yeah so it does claim to be both so this is a both type of microphone which is pretty weird i i, I, I would say I, I think it's more of the cardioid I'll, I'll definitely try to say that much more of when you talk to this microphone but let's go ahead and do a small test with the mic right now so you're hearing the mic and then we're gonna count from three and then you're gonna go ahead and get it without the mics ready so one two three and this is the way I sound without the microphone. So you can just still tell a massive difference. Uh, the, like what I said, this microphone is very sensitive already. So when you hear the difference right now, in terms of this video, you can see that um, either way, this microphone is going to help enhance some form of sound. So let's go ahead and get right back into the sound. So one, two, three. And we're back with the toner TC30. Um, so I wouldn't use it for a music or Xbox would probably be out the realm just due to no volume output and more but PlayStation and podcast for sure um, possibly basic gaming but uh, you would have to do a lot of in-game settings in order to utilize this microphone but all in all I think it's, it's a very good entry level for anything else that is USB compatible um, like what I said you can use it for music but I wouldn't recommend it but this microphone is great for travel size. It's smaller, and uh, they do provide the smaller desk stand, the tripod that does open up. So you'll see it right here. So it kind of just opens up, and you can just place it on the desk. Very small, kind of just like how every other traditional USB microphone at this price range would. Um, but yeah, so if you like the way it sounds, and you, and you think that it's something you can just rock with for a simplicity of a travel type microphone, then look into this. I, what I like the most, I, I like this. I like that toner right in the front. It looks real cool. It's a little sleek, and you can just tell that uh, it's something that they definitely worked hard on to bring that compact aspect. But I mean, uh, the downfall for me, which is uh, which is terrible, and in my essence, is that um, just no monitoring aspects, no headphone jacks, and, and no volume output, which is crucial when you're getting a microphone. But um, but yeah, so this is the toner TC30. If y'all do like what y'all are listening to let me know what's up description description box below i do appreciate y'all this was just a talk slash raw test and this is no edits or anything so i just wanted to show y'all in case y'all do come across this microphone on amazon or anything um i do want to appreciate toner for sending out this microphone to us to check it out and give some honest insights i do like it but um i, I wish there was some form of output or at least a monitor jack because those are my favorite but yes for the size for the price for the delivery I, I think it's a it's a solid mic if you're using it for playstation and podcasts for sure man so i appreciate y'all uh be sure to hit that like and subscribe button it really helps us out and trying to get more equipment and work with more people so real chill vibes today and i appreciate y'all peace